Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family. Emily and I are back in the kitchen again, and this week I'm getting, I've got around to finally being able to make another hard cheese. Um, so it is going to be, Emily, what did we decide? A cheddar cheese, and we are making some zucchini bread to go with it. Yes, we're also going to be making zucchini bread. So while the cheese, I just got my mesophyll culture in the cheese, um, so it has to rest for an hour. So Emily is going to be making some zucchini bread with some of the zucchini from the garden. She's been wanting to do that for a while now. So too long. Too long. All right, so we're gonna get at that. So for the ingredients for the zucchini bread, we need flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, three eggs, vegetable oil, sugar zucchini bread and we mix the dry ingredients mix wet ingredients plus sugar and then we add the zucchini so everybody's favorite part of making zucchini bread mm. is grating the zucchini so we're gonna need two cups Emily, so we might only need these this big one but we'll just try in case. that yes Okay, have fun. Just the best snack while you're waiting for your sibling to shred some zucchini. Cracker with Chev on it. Good stuff. So we have shredded all the zucchini and greased the pans and we are going to crack the eggs. So for the vegetable oil, you need a cup. We're going to pour it out. sitting in the milk for one hour now. So now we are going to add the rennet mixed with water. And I'm just going to stir that in gently. minutes to an hour and we'll check it for a clean break in the curd. There we go. Alright, so we just took Emily's bread out. She's gonna put a toothpick in it and see if it's perfect. It smells delicious. Whoops. She was taking a little nappy. Let's see. Is there anything on the toothpick girl? That's mm. what you're looking for, silly. Yeah. 
Try the other one. All good. All good? All right, now we let it sit on the rack. I would say this turned out gorgeous. Let's see, Emily, what do you think? Oh, yeah? You th no? Yes? Best thing ever. Okay. Alright, so it's time to cut the curds, and this is literally, literally my favorite part. So I want you guys to see, um, it's been sitting for about an hour, and I want you guys just to see how you know if it's good to cut. Alright, you guys can see the way on top. See how those curds set up real nice. So, or it's one big curd rather. I'm going to cut them. So just to check it, you want to make sure it's a nice clean break. See that? Hopefully. See? It's set up nice. So we're going to cut these into half inch cubes or at least best I can alright now this is the hard part <clears throat> I'm gonna take my ladle and I'm gonna go in here trying to keep it at a, <laughs> I'm not very good at it but a half inch throughout so I'm gonna cut it with my ladle the rest of the curds down here and after I do that I'm gonna let it rest for five minutes and then I'm gonna turn the heat up and we're gonna get it up to 98 degrees hold on yeah very 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 slowly we're gonna get it up to 98 degrees and slowly um, just getting the curds and cutting the larger ones um, you know I usually just use my hands to do so. ideally they would all be the same size so that they all release the whey at the same pace. All right, so at this point I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes and then I will be back. All right, so I've been at this for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. If you see the curds, much smaller they got. I'm going to make sure that the curds are, all the whey is out of them, but not so much that they're a piece of rubber, if you will. So you can fill them and, and test them out. You can fill it. Or you can eat them, you can test Oh, I got these curds drained. See them? So now I'm going to salt them and break them up a little bit more and get them into the cheese press. So far these curds are looking pretty good so I have a good feeling about this cheddar. second flipping and it is netting together nicely so I'm going to flip it again let's look at the other side looking good so now I flip it and it stays overnight wake up in the morning I will take a look at it and it should be a block of cheese alright this has been pressing 
about 12, 13 hours overnight. So let's see. I will, you know, tighten this down fairly tight and then a few hours later or a couple hours later before I go to bed I'll give it another good twist and I forgot to do that. So I was thinking it might not be completely netted together and you guys can see it's not. Not up here. Let's see, this side looking pretty good but again you can see where it's not completely netted together. So I'm going to press this longer. So we'll see you back here when I get home from work, I guess. And then it should be done. It smells good though. It smells like cheese. another eight hours. Just got home from work. So we're going to check on the cheese and it should be a nice good net. Perfect. So, we have another cheddar to put in the hillbilly cheesecake. Very cool. <laughs> 